the greatest game winners in NFL history. Big shout out to Phil Flick for the video we're about to react to. Let's get right into it, bro. With barely any time left okay. and only one more chance to win or lose, yep. NFL what you gonna players do? pull off what crazy you gonna do? plays for some of the greatest <laughs> game winners in history. This is about to be a banger. This is about to be a banger video. I love stuff like this. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. They were still losing. Time was still ticking. Of course. And they were down by six. Yeah, of course. That was a bad kick. Oh! Wait, he slapped it to the defender? Wait, wait a minute. Wait, With what? no time left, the Texans player swatted the ball down like he was supposed to, but he hit the ball right into his opponent's oh, hands for a game-losing touchdown. He gave him a touchdown. Now, that was unbelievable. Wow, that unbelievable that's crazy. Is number 16, where Michael one legend's Vick? game winner helped him set an NFL record. I love Michael Vick. What the f Bro, why am I getting hit with ads? I thought I had YouTube Premium. Hold on. One Legends game winner Let's helped go, Vic. him set an NFL record. I gotta see this. Mike Vick was about to make Michael history. Vick. All because he desperately wanted to beat one of the league's best teams, okay. the Vikings. The problem was that throughout the game, he yeah. was throwing like he had a noodle for an arm. Like, what the hell was that? Anyways, so why that's was he why he stopped so throwing like a quarterback and started rushing like a running back. Ah. Run after run. He was killing his opponent so badly that oh he eventually had 127 rushing Damn. yards. Damn! Now with the game tied in overtime, Vic was just 23 yards away from breaking a record for the most rushing yards in a game by a quarterback ever, and no just a score away from winning when wow. this happened. Did he do both in one play? Don't tell me he did both in one play. He broke the record and won the game? Oh my gosh! Michael Vick! The legend! The legend Long himself! Can you're the whole team, even making dudes smash each other? That crazy, crazy run hey, one yo, is making dudes smash each other. Come on, man. Pause, bro. No diddy, bro. You bugging out. Word to my heart. Team the game and set his record with 173 rushing. That's yards. crazy, bro. But this guy's a in the freaking end, legend. That play only won a regular season game. At number 15, a player's game winner sent his team to the Super Bowl. No way. Everything came down to this kicker for the biggest moment of his life. Okay. So a 57 yard field goal attempt. And yep. if Zerline hits this field goal, the Rams are going, going to, the Super, to Bowl. the Super Bowl. Okay. That snap. The Did he make it? Is good. Rams oh win it and on the Super Bowl. How is that a crazy game winner? Wow, he made a field goal, yeah. bro. Deshawn could have did that. Yards Adam Bakken could have did that, bro. He won that with the longest game winning kick in NFL playoff history. I don't know. Maybe I'm underestimated. Like, maybe I'm, like, not giving enough credit, but I just don't think. I, mean, I don't know. I couldn't have done it, so maybe it is that great. But the game winner at number 14. I like Same, the defender's bro. arms. Hitting the player's helmet and wow. somehow bouncing into Antonio Freeman's hands. Wow. That pitch was already crazy enough, so it made That's one announcer crazy. damn near of a heart attack. He did what? And just like that, wow. the game was over. But at number 13, a okay. player getting cocky led to him winning a game for the wrong team. Let's call heads. Heads is called. <laughs> Look at him. He's laughing. How was that cocky? He just asked for heads, bro. I don't get it. Seattle, I was that cocky. So, oh, shoot. I'm sorry, guys. A lot of you guys really like the backgrounds in my videos, and I forgot I had this helmet from my last video. Let me put this back on. We're going to score. There we go. <laughs> oh, boy. Wait, what did he say? Seattle's won the toss. We want the so, ball, and we're going to score. Oh, <laughs> he said we want the ball, and we're going to score. Time, telling the world their plans was cool and all. Wow. Until. Takes yeah, you can't snap, be cocky, bro. Drop, You're stupid. Why would you? Yes! Interception. Yes! Pick six, pick six. You're gonna score what? You're gonna score what? And you freaking didn't make the tackle. Uh, That's why you don't be caught. The wrong team. I bet that man never talks again. Yeah, but number 12's game winner was so crazy. A player now only blacked out. He said what? God helped him score. <sighs> Who else that, but Tate, wait. man? Not that one. What? Golden Tate. Bro, that was not God. That was Travis Scott, bro. I'm so confused. He was wild right here. Ah, if he that just... game winner was so crazy that Tate admitted he didn't even make that play. God did. Now, no oh, matter wow. if it was him or God, whoever made that game winner, number 11's game winner was so much more iconic that it really? got its own nickname. Because with only enough time for one play Seven and being seconds. over 70 yards away to okay. win the game, no the way they scored, needed bro. more than a touchdown. No way. They, they needed a miracle. a miracle. Yep, a miracle. There's no way they scored. Yeah, yeah, we'll throw it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh wait. Oh snap. Wait, Tyreek Hill changed his last name or something? His last name used to be Steels? I didn't know that. More than a touch. Look, bro, look. They needed a miracle. Look at this, bro. Look at you see, look at Tyreek Hill. Oh my gosh, bro. Look at Tyreek Hill. His last name used to be Steels. That's crazy, bro. Wow, I wonder why he changed it. Wait, what's happening? Oh my gosh. Pitch back. Oh my no way! No way! Oh my gosh! 
No way he scored that, bro. 70 no yards to win the way. game. That was not only the first multiple lateral walk-off touchdown ever. It won the clutchest play of the year. Wow. It even got its own nickname. The, the miracle, miracle in Miami. In Miami. But ah. right, now that we're getting into the top. We in Miami looking for the hoochie daddy. Oh, sorry. 10 greatest game winners in NFL history. Let's take things to a whole new level. Let's like do it. Like a game winning play that was so crazy, it got yeah. turned into an NFT. Or a what? play that was so brutal, it got someone fined thousands of dollars. Damn! But first, how about a game winner that won a team a championship? Adam okay. Vinatieri will try to win it with a 47-yard field goal, 48-yard field goal attempt. Snap, ball down, kick Bro, up. it's just kick the field goal, bro. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, bro. Yeah, field goals are cool, but come on, bro. We want to see some big catches or something, bro. I mean, congratulations, obviously, bro. But, like, come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yup. Right down the middle, game over. And that not only cemented win, Adam Vinatieri as one of the greatest kickers in history, it won them the Super Bowl. But as bro. clutch as that was. Guys, you know Adam Vinatieri, bro, is like one of the oldest players ever. Check this out. Bro, he literally, he's 51 years old now. He literally retired at 48 years old, bro. He retired when he was 48. That is insane, bro. Jeez Louise. Number he's nine legend, game winning play. Completed the craziest comeback in NFL history. This play okay. never would have happened if the Patriots didn't start the biggest game of the year, getting their ass Damn, whooped. That cool. Falcons what? came out and instantly oh, dominated. This. Three until to they eventually 28 ran comeback. Up the score, 28 yep. to three. Yep. At this point, their probability of winning the game was calculated at 99.7%. Wow. That's nearly impossible to lose. But, all right, Bruh, let's if I would have bet money on this game, Tom I Brady's rich. in the game, there's always a chance. Yep. Right then and there, he I led the time. Patriots all the way back until they eventually tied the game and sent things into overtime. Crazy, so eventually, bro. everything came down to this. That's crazy, bro. 3 to 28 comeback is absolutely in absolutely instant yo now Tom that's how you goal, win a game bro. but i'm just wow. being real i expected brady to pull it off of course and number Tom brady. eight a game winner was so unexpected is that Stephen curry in the nfl destroying their squad's jerseys what i hate the browns i hate the browns <laughs> hey as a giants fan i feel you my boy God damn <laughs> it's a 51 yard kick and it's travis coons for the win like where's the what the hell what are you doing Field place, come back and talk to us, bro. Where you at? I already know after game winning throws like those, Damn. some parlays were ruined. Hell yeah. I'm still salty about some of those. But Hell those yeah. plays only happen in the regular season. At okay. number five, a legend's biggest mistake in the playoffs led to the dumbest game winner ever. What, what happened? Extra man on the blitz. Rodgers gets oh. in the face. The ball is Oh, out. wow. He Aaron Rodgers, bro, if you notice his it. foot. He literally like kicked a it to him, bro. To a kicked Look. interception. Yeah, he that kicked ended it, with bro. a game winner. That's the wow. only time I've ever heard of someone pulling off a kick six. But I know. Oh, that's I hard. A kick kicks. six. Yo, did he low key do it on purpose? It looked like he kicked it to him, in my opinion, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That looked kind of like it was on purpose, bro. I ain't gonna rap to you. 66 either. Until I saw this next play at number four, where a player set an NFL record that'll never be broken. Okay. And of course it was gonna be Justin Tucker. Even legends know it? that he's the best kicker of all time. He okay. might be the greatest ball striker to ever Hey, hit a yo. Ball. <laughs> but even though Tucker's known to That's always crazy. hit ridiculously long field goals, with a game on the line, nobody in history had ever even attempted to make one from as far as he was about to. Let me see. On its way. Happy Damn, bro. Uh, oh, my God, man. Tucker won the game from a record 66 yards away. And if you ask me, that's one of the craziest plays you'll ever see. But at number three, is a game winner that was so legendary, it got turned into an NFT. Oh, that's sweet what right the there. freak, bro? How did he do that? Hut. What the, f how, did, how, did, how did he just do that? an NFT. There's holograms in real life, bro. During all the metaverse, bro, you get, bro, you NFL get anything you want when you NFL some of the player, huh? Craziest plays and the moments that fans could buy and collect, but none of their wow. NFTs became as legendary as the play right here. Okay, so were they going for a lot of money or what? Good high kick. Peterson okay. takes it at the two. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. No way. Oh my gosh. Patrick Peterson did that? I didn't even know he was that fast, bro. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's crazy, bro. 99 yards. That was the longest game-winning punt return ever. So, of course, the NFL wow. turned this into an NFT. But how much did it go for? That's How was that popular? It literally only sold for 200. I've seen NFTs set for that. What is, what is blinking in my room?
Bro, why is that light tweaking on my wall right there? What the heck? Oh, hell no. Nah. Somebody please pray for me. I do not want any demons in my... Bro, the hell? And hold up a sec. I think I'm gonna buy this real quick. But speaking of wasting money... You did and not. I love game Curse's winners, bro! sent him and his squad to the Super Bowl. So, Damn. his excitement had him throw the ball into the crowd. Now, the NFL is strict about celebrating like Wait, that. Wait, they Because they don't want him? fans fighting over a souvenir. So Jermaine wow. got hit with unsportsmanlike conduct, wow. which resulted in a fine of over five thousand dollars. Bro, I I literally see NFL players give the ball to like their mom or their family members or like people. Oh, that's different than throwing it at them. <laughs> okay, <laughs> never mind. That, makes sense. that doing this versus this is different. Okay, I understand. My bad. <laughs> Just because he celebrated his game-winning play, luckily it didn't only lose someone money though. Because it turned out that the fan who caught the ball eventually had sports collectors asking to buy it for over $20,000. Damn! 20 bands, just for another man's brown ball. That's but crazy. As crazy as that entire story was, it only got the Seahawks to the Super Bowl, where they eventually lost to a play that even had grown men yeah, to Yeah, man. Yeah. Blake I ain't gonna lie, this was crazy, bro. Oh, man, bro. Like, they should have just ran the ball with Marshawn Lynch, bro. I was literally with Marshawn Lynch, like, couple because months ago that play so and i asked him about that play and he said yeah bro that was just crazy bro I, oh, no. I agree i figured we can't just end the video like that nah yeah in my book the real number one and greatest game winner ever okay. is a play that had zero percent chance of happening at least that's what i found according to my calculations okay. and what the players talked about santonio holmes was the man with the plan and honestly he must have been studying one of the most legendary receivers film the night before okay leo jones was a man who made a living making plays like these like what extra men on the rush on the run oh my gosh oh wow what a catch bro Oh my gosh! Freaking legend. Oh my gosh, he stuck his hand up his butt. Yo, look, he stuck his hand up his butt cheeks, bro. Look. Bah! Ew, what the freak? Hold on, look, bro. Uh, I'm sorry. I know this is weird, but this is kind of crazy to me. Look. <laughs> oh my gosh, if you're a guy, you know that. Right in that area, it's not only your. Never mind. Let's. Never mind. <laughs> Get friendly. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, man. My bad, guys. I'm texting my jeweler right now. I'm about to get another chance. Woo! Oh, my gosh, bro. He literally tapped Toe his tapping, foot. Or getting his toes wow. in bounds like this to make catches was wow. something unlike anything anybody ever saw. And ironically, crazy, making bro. a catch like those is what Santonio San and the Steelers plan to win a championship. That's They'd spent time bro. in practice trying to perfect making it happen. But one okay. of them admitted it was never even completed a single time. We called that particular play that we ran to finish the game in mm -hmm. practice over a hundred times. A hundred times. The first times? time I dropped the pass in the back of the end zone, and then again it was tipped, and again it was intercepted, and again it was overthrown, again wow. I was out of bounds, again it was underthrown. The wow. play didn't work. So for okay. them to whip that play out with only one opportunity. Yeah, why would you whip it out if it doesn't work? That doesn't year, make sense, bro. That took balls. That's well, crazy. We need this play, man. This win the championship for us right here, man. Oh, actually, I watched this live. I remember this. I was like 11 years old. Yep, Santonio Holmes. Stands. Yeah, crazy catch. I remember that. The I remember watching that, bro. Catch in that most important game. Yeah. Happened with 34 seconds to yep. go. I think I think that's the greatest Super Bowl catch ever. Insane. And he's like wow. levitating. Messi, how oh. would you know that your toe is just inside? You watch it in slow motion, it looks wow. difficult. Imagine wow. doing that with all the speed, all the, the freaking catch right there, bro. Happen. And for that, That's crazy. I think it's the best play we've ever seen in the Super Bowl. Jeez, and just like that, the play, the game, and their opponent's season was over with wow. the greatest game winner I'd ever seen. Yeah, but the most cool. disrespectful things you'll ever see are in yeah. this video. And okay, trust okay. me. Even yeah, I'm about to react to that really soon. I think that's the yep, that's actually the next video I'm about to react to, man. So y'all stay tuned for it. And listen, guys, you know at the end of every freaking video, we do a health check on the channel. I mean, it's kind of pointless to do a health check because, yeah, we're not going to do a health check because I'm about to, re like, the last video you saw was recorded today. I'm about to record, like, hella videos in one day. So a health check is kind of pointless because I haven't dropped any videos in two weeks to do a health check. So, yeah, man. Um, I'll just see you guys in the next one. I love you guys so much, man. It's your boy Eli Matt. Gang, gang. Always put God first. I forgot to say that. Put God first. Put God first. Gang, gang.